What's up Node.js developers? In this tutorial, we're gonna learn about blur views in React Native and we're gonna use them in order to spice up a bit our user interface with a gloss effect. By the end of the tutorial, we're gonna also try to animate these blur views based on the user gestures. So it's gonna be a tutorial packed with information. If you want to follow along, make sure to download the step-by-step -step guide and the starter project following the link in the description below. And let's get started. For that, we're gonna use uh, a library called expo blurred view. Here is the documentation for this. And everything that we have to do here is to install expo blur in our project here. Let's go ahead and install it. And after that, uh, let's go ahead in our components and let's open the notification item. We're gonna start with this notification item to implement the blur view. And um, if we look into the documentation, the way this blur view works is we wrapped some content with this blur view and everything behind this uh, blur view will be blurred. So this is the important thing because it might be confusing. You might expect that everything inside the blur view is blurred, but this is actually working our way around. Everything that is behind this component is going to be blurred. So let's go ahead and import blur view here. Let's import blur view from expo blur. And what can we do with blur view? Well, we need to probably wrap everything inside this container in a blur view. So let's put the blur view here. Let's close it at the end, basically before closing the animated view. And by doing that, we already have something, not exactly what we want to, but we're gonna get there. The property that blur view expects is intensity and it goes from zero all the way up to uh, 100. And depending on that, like the intensity of a blur. Now it also expects a style and the style I think we can move the style for the container from the animated to here. Yes, that's good, but we lost the round corners. So our round corners, we can add one more property to the container, overflow hidden. And this will make sure that our round corners are still there. And as you can see, our background of these items is blurred. So it's way different than it was it was before because if I'm gonna put here zero, you're gonna see how we had it before. So this is a transparent background and this is a blurred background. And also probably we can play also with background color like this, okay. There is another property for the blur view, the tint, and tint can have three values, dark, default, or light. For example, a dark tint will look something like this. And I think that's what we intend, what, what we are looking for. A light tint will be, yeah, like this and probably a light tint will work well. Yeah, when the background probably is white, but for us dark is okay. So that's how simple it is to work with this blur view. Uh, the thing is that on iOS, it will actually render a native blur view component because iOS has this native blur view, but on Android, because Android doesn't have like such a native component, on Android, this will render with transparency. So if Andro on Android, don't expect this to work as it is working in iOS, but it will still look good because it has like that transparency. So we fall back to, to what we have natively on the platform. So that's uh, regarding our notification item. Now, what we want to do is to uh, blur the background of this lock screen, depending on how uh, far are we from unlocking the phone. This can be very easily seen uh, in the actual iOS lock screen. So if I'm gonna drag it from the top, this, what you see here is the actual lock screen from iOS. And as you can see at the top, like it's pretty blurred, but as we move down, the background image becomes more vivid and we can see it properly. So let's do that same in our application. For that, uh, we have this shared value Y that represents the position of our lock screen on the Y axis. Based on this Y axis, we will uh, drive animation for our blurred background. Yeah, let's start first of all, by defining this blur background and then we're gonna think about animating it. So for that, we're gonna uh, import the blur view from expo blur and we're going to wrap 
what are we going to wrap with this blur view? We need this image background to be blurred and everything inside it, for, for example, the notification list, not to be blurred. So let's try to put our blur view inside the image background and let's close it before closing the image background here. I can close it even but yeah, it's okay. And now if I'm going to play with the intensity, for example, if I say zero, our background is fully visible here. And if I'm gonna say 100, our background is going to be fully blurred. So this is how we have to uh, work with this blur view. But let's do the same with a home screen because the home screen should also be blurred. As you can see here, uh, I don't think you, you will be able to, to see it, but in iOS 16, like both the home screen, both the things that are behind and in front, they're both blurring, but yeah, they change basically intensity. One is increasing, one is decreasing. So uh, let's go ahead and add a blur for the whole animated lock screen. I think that one is going to be, maybe I can add it uh, like a blur view here with some position absolute. Let's do the same style as that one. But in this case, yeah, intensity 100. Yeah, it will work. Yeah, perfect. And if I decrease the intensity here to 50, yes, it works. So what we have to do is whenever this blur view is zero, basically whenever we see the home screen, this blur view of the background image here should be 100 and vice versa. When the home screen is not visible, this one should be uh, fully visible and now our home screen is blurred. So let's um, define the animations for this intensity. But the problem is that as you can see, what we want to animate now is not the style uh, of our blur view, but it's actually a property of, uh, of a component. With reanimated, we can also animate properties using instead of uh, use animated style, we're gonna work with a use animated prop. Uh, this will give us the ability to animate properties of a component. Now, the second problem is that whenever we are working with animated styles or animated property, the component that we are applying the animation should be an animated component. So if this one is an animated view, as you can see, because if it was a simple view, we would not be able to animate it. The thing is that with a custom component, we do not have animated dot blur view, of course, because uh, animated will only will only contains uh, the most common components that we can animate. But the good thing is that we can create an animated custom component. To do that, it's pretty easy. So we uh, will define it here on the top. Animated blur view is going to be equal to animated dot create animated component. And we're gonna pass here the component that we want to make animated. Now, this animated blur view now can expect like the animated properties that we talked about. Let's go ahead and uh, replace the blur view here with the animated blur view and blur view here as well with animated blur view. Now everything is fine. And the next step would be to, yeah, to animate this property. So as I said, we're gonna work with uh, animated properties. So let's go ahead and define the home screen blur equal use animation animated prop and in the use animated prop we need an object or a function yeah it's a function we need a function that will create our animated properties so what is the property that we want to animate it's called intensity let's put it here in our object and let's specify how we want to animate it well we're gonna interpolate the value of our y value. So we remember that y value goes from zero to the height of our screen. So for the home screen blur, when uh, we are at zero, zero means that we are all the way up. Home screen should have zero uh, blur, but when the lock screen is all the way down, basically when it matches the height, then our intensity for the home screen blur should be 100. Let's copy paste this one more time for the lock screen because here we will reverse these values. Here is 100, here is zero. Now let's go ahead and send these properties to our animated views. So instead of specifying the intensity here directly, we're gonna say animated props equal to home screen blur. And for the other one, 
animated blur here. Instead of intensity, I'm gonna do animated props equal, not home screen, but lock screen blur. Now we see that the lock screen here is fully visible. There is no blur. And now um, as we will start slowly unlocking the phone, we see that the home screen becomes unblurred and the same things happens when we lock the phone. As we move down, we see uh, the home screen blurring more and more. Uh, our foreground here is actually fully visible. And the same things happens for the background of our lock screen. As we start unlocking, it starts fading away and we start revealing the content behind. That's amazing. That's how you work with blur views and how we also animate them based on the gesture and based on the gesture handler that the user is doing here in the application. I hope that you learned something new today. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell not to miss our future tutorials and weekly live builds. Now, if you still feel like learning something new today, you can follow along our tutorials here or here and build something exciting.